Gentlemen YouTube channel. Howdy, ladies and gentlemen. We got a lot of live action going on today. James, how are you doing? I'm good. Cutting the hood. Just cutting up a hood. Getting ready to make some primary slices here, looks like. Yeah. Wow, look at how like flimsy it is. Now that That's that. why I wanted to leave these braces so that yeah. they So, you guys have been asking like crazy lately, where is the Dale truck? Well, good news, it's right here. The dang thing hasn't really moved for a while, and you guys know that. And you guys also know, we're freaking putting a new engine in this thing, which means we're gonna have a hopped up, high revving, freedom flying LS1 that uh, we don't have really anything to do with. Let me pop this open real quick. Now you guys have all heard this, this engine right here, this LS1, this motor, sounds amazing it's got a big old cam in it it rips made like 450 horsepower to the tires in the dale truck and we're taking it out so what better to do with it than to give it to you guys so before i get into this giveaway as you guys know we've been gone for the last month or so and if you remember in june we started a cool boss giveaway which is one of these things, a big air conditioning unit for your garage. We wanted to give away a really usable product and last night we actually called the winner. We wanted to wait until we got back so we could announce this giveaway before we call the winner of the last one. So let me jump to last night. All right guys, we have randomly chosen using random number generator, Kevin from Louisiana. We're gonna give him a call. All right, and people have been blowing me up about this because we haven't announced the cool boss giveaway, but we wanted to wait till we got home. Make sure you say, is this Kevin? So Kevin, turn it up all the way. Zilla. Hey, is this Kevin? Yes, I am. Um, are you interested in purchasing yourself a golden retriever? Mm, no, sir, I'm not. Oh, well, that's, that's really. So we have one here that's. Have you considered buying a golden retriever? Because they're a great dog. No. Well, have you ever wanted a, a cool boss air conditioning unit for your garage? What? <laughs> this is Cletus and Cooper. Man, and James. On. Brother, you won. Man, that's awesome. Yeah. But you're on video right now, so say something to your mom or something. This is your chance. <laughs> How about my wife? It's a birthday today. Yeah. Oh. oh. Wow, what a day. What a day, right? You can tell her it's for her. They, well, yeah, we'll try that. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that's awesome. All right, guys, we, we got our winner, Kevin, here, so gotta give him the details. I'll get back with you in a minute. So congrats to Kevin on winning the cool boss, but let's talk about this LS1 because I think a lot of people are gonna be really hyped up with this thing. They're getting a sweet motor and they're getting the intake to oil pan. Literally, you drop this bad girl in your project car, hook it up, some sort of computer. I mean, a Holly stock LS computer, anything, you're ready to rip. So, I mean, before we talk about it, let me just start it up so you guys can hear it. Yep. Click that on, click that on. Come on, baby. Woo so good to hear the nail truck up and ripping. It's been a long time. Damn, this thing just looks so good. At all times. Oh, baby. Oh baby, damn, so rowdy this thing. Sounds great. <laughs> it sounds so good. Okay, so like our past giveaways, like when we did the Cool Boss, any order you place in June automatically entered you to win the Cool Boss. What we're doing with the LS1 is the same thing. So any order placed on our website, which is cletusmcfarland.com, through the end of September automatically enters you to win this LS1 straight out of the Dale truck. Just a heads up guys, since this video was supposed to go out over a week ago, we actually included all the orders that were placed in August as well. So if you just placed an order for say the Leroy the Savage seven second t-shirt, your order is still included in the giveaway. And also we extended the pre-order for the Leroy seven second t-shirts till the end of the day today, Monday, August 27th. You have until midnight, so order them up while you can. Again guys, for the seven second t-shirt, the pre-order ends tonight. And for those of you who already have most of our shirts, we just released new shirts. We now have hats on the website. We now have posters. We have all sorts of new things. So you gotta go check it out. Even sunglasses, pop sockets, just a bunch of random awesome freedom apparel. So after this video, definitely go check out the website. 
can enter to win this LS1 by just placing an order for literally anything. You could buy a $5 thing, you could buy, you know, $50 worth of stuff. Whatever you wanna do, once you place an order, you're entered, that's it. So let's talk about the engine and what the winner is going to get. Obviously, I'll be keeping the headers and ignition stuff. That's all gonna stay with the truck because we'll need it for the new engine. But there's definitely some stuff we're not gonna use. We're not gonna use the intake, we're obviously not gonna use the heads, and we're obviously not gonna use the short block. And just for the heck of it, I'm gonna include the oil pan so they get a complete package. So you'll get intake all the way down to the oil pan if you do win the giveaway. All the accessories like the water pump and the power steering are gonna go onto the new engine. We will need those to get the Dale truck to LS Fest, which is our ultimate goal with a build that we are starting pretty much next week. So in a couple days, Cooper and I are flying out to Texas to actually see the new motor for the Dale truck that Texas Speed and Performance built. I'm not gonna give you any details. I'm just gonna tell you this. It's gonna rev high, it's gonna sound amazing, and it is gonna make some freaking power. Then when we get back, we have less than three weeks to swap the engine and put a Holly HP computer and all sorts of other wiring and good stuff like that into the Dale truck and get this thing ready for LS Fest. If you guys remember, we did LS Fest West in Las Vegas. Well, they have an LS Fest East that's in Bowling Green. I think it's the first weekend in September. We really don't have a lot of time. We gotta have this thing ready. I want this truck to be super versatile. Obviously, we're gonna do a lot of drag racing with it. You know, that's what we love to do. But this truck needs to be able to hit the road course, needs to be able to hit Daytona if we want, and it needs to be able to street drive really well. So as you guys know, I do have this thing licensed and insured. It's registered with the state, good to go. This truck needs to run on point for anything we wanna do. I do not want this thing to ever be limited in any way, shape, or form. Heck, if I wanna take it out, and road course it, then drag race it the next day, or go to the half mile, screw it, I should be able to. As far as fuel goes, we're definitely gonna run it on gasoline. I wanna be able to hop in the Dale truck, go to freaking work, you know, go wherever, pick up parts, go home. This thing should be super streetable. So a couple things we have to do, we're gonna put a bigger fuel cell in it. We have to do a whole new fuel system with bigger pumps because I'm hoping to make 600 wheel horsepower with our new NA engine. We're getting a new CID intake for it. We're getting a new oil pan, bunch of new things, but most importantly, that new LS7, and it's gonna have a Holly ignition setup. But you know what? We haven't driven this in forever, so Cooper and I are gonna take the old Dale truck to Chick-fil-A right now. Have some fun on the way there. Probably back to. One thing we have to do too is put a locker in this rear end. As you guys know, there's a four nine inch under here, and it desperately needs a diff lock because it does one wheel wonders, and that's kind of lame for burnouts. It's not gonna be like a spool or a straight up well the dip we'll put a nice locker in it like what we have in neighbor you haven't been in the old dale truck in a while yeah. neither of us have you got your hearing protection uh no. you might want it <laughs> this thing's so damn loud dude i do miss it though oh yeah oh yeah all right let's go rip this baby i forgot this thing doesn't lock the turn right it, like starts to bind up Still have this hole here too. Yeah, it's a big hole. Oh God. 
couple things here. Well, hey, well, listen, we're in a full blown NASCAR. Can we make this like a high speed food exchange? Like it's a real life pit stop? I'm sorry, what? All right, so we're in a full blown NASCAR. Is there any way we can make this like a pit stop when I pull up? All right, I'll hand you the money. You hand me the food, just throw it at us. That's I mean, well, you can order here and just get it at the window real quick. That's the plan. That's the plan. Or if you wanna come inside. No, no, that's the plan, I'll order it. All right, I need a number one with okay. a large lemonade. Fries large as well? Uh, no, you can do the fries, just regular. Okay. I actually need two of those. Two meals the same exact way? Yeah, and then uh, and Chick-fil-A sauce with those and then let me get the four-piece chicken strip. And then Old Cooper needs a four-piece chicken strip. Chick-fil-A sauce. With Chick-fil-A sauce. And a, um, we need some frosted lemonades in here. Oh, and a frosted lemonade. That's a good one. It's large. Okay, well, I can we don't want it. That's it. I'll have the money ready. I'll see ya. It's going down. Pit stop exchange. Keep the change. <laughs> okay. We need the food. We're we're leading the pack. She's, she's hustling for us. We appreciate your hustle. Yeah. You Do you guys need oh, drink carrier and everything. This lady's the best. We just need Chick Fil A sauce. I don't know where you're putting it. I don't know. Ah. Oh. oh gosh. I didn't think this through. We don't have cup holders. It's going on the dash. All right, thanks. What was it? 40 seconds. Woo! We broke a record. We just broke a record. Fastest pit stop in the drive through. Uh, oh, gosh. This is... I even remember we don't have cup holders.